world this is mystical machine gun it's sunday night and we're playing metal gear 2 when i left you last week played metal gear 2 for the first time on this msx emulator and i thought to myself all right i'm done for the day i'm going to save why not trying to save uh lead to disc errors and i thought okay well then we'll do the password and then i saw this and then i said to myself I'm going to save my state. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> That's where we're, we're a touch inaccurate. Not quite authentic as we could be. Let's just equip our stuff. Because what had happened was, here on the third floor, we we're encountering lots of rooms with gas and alerts and alarms. Oh, it's a grand old time. And we had died. Which is why we're back at the elevator. So just before we start in earnest, I was looking at the manual just to remind myself of the controls. And it actually has a, list, a couple of more listed codecs that I didn't realize. We've only spoken to the Colonel so far, but you've also got... Ah, press up. You can detect infrared sensors using cigarette smoke. Over. It's Master Miller. Looking nothing, absolutely nothing, like he does on the PSX. But it also lists a 140.93. I, I, I don't consider this spoilers or anything. This is just from reading the manual. Ah, okay. Nobody's answering that yet. There's some other familiar codec numbers in there, but they don't have names against it. It's an old school manual where you can take notes. Oh, I love those. I never did it. Oh, I did it on a piece of paper because those manuals were so tiny. It'd be like... Now, yeah, it's not a good time. Oh, fine, Holly. So I could have already written, written down in my manual that Holly is 140.15, but then there's also a 140.40 listed there with no name. Nothing yet. Okay. There you go. That's that's our Kodak Adventures. Gotta get my hands into the right claw. With space and N or M being the main keys that you have to it's a bit of a awkward layout. I've got the manual on the other screen, it just says Basic operation of codec. Make call, just like dialing a phone. If your comrades are listening, their portrait will show and they will respond. Now, as we went up here, we had this somewhat this alert system. Now, I thought maybe the lines were like laser beams that you could if as long as they weren't on the screen you could progress but no such luck the alarm went off as soon as we went in there and that's what led to our demise oh no it wasn't it was a boss fight <laughs> it's been a long week okay parenting makes the week long and you have kids waking up at five in the morning every day oh my gosh it's hide it's hide Oh, that alert cleared straight away. Happy with that. The manual, it's a translated manual, because obviously this is a translated ROM. It also says some weird things. It says that... It says that if you hit punch a guard once, they go unconscious. Ah, oh, fudge, the camera, etc. Go, go, go through the door, go through the door. There we go. Ah, yes, then we got our fake friend. And no rations. But because I started that alert, we're lacking in life. But that's alright. Let's take the risk. 
Oh, we don't need to hear that again. Could I ignore him like we ignored that uh, fake Dr. Manna in MG1? Yes! Oop, he's gonna watch out for his ninja stars or whatever he's throwing. Or <laughs> are they little bats? I don't know. They are, no, they're stars. They look like the font stars. Like, they look like you, you they look like someone at Konami just typed the letter star, the asterisk. And that's his attack. We'll go continue. I do love how happy <laughs> the fox slash hound, fox hound looks. Let's see if we can't do it a bit better. We don't get any ammo back, notably. Now I need to remind myself to actually use the radar. So we'll do two things slightly different here. There's no harm in... Oh, we don't have a gas mask yet. I'm still in Metal Gear 1 land where we had a gas mask. So, we can at least not set off an alert and have more life. Now what if we just ignore him? No such luck. It means we have to probably defeat him to open the door. Let's try again. I do love that little that music, that little stinger. Okay. With a full life bar, let's see how we go. This is tough, especially with no diagonal movement. It's being left, right, up, down on the on the small. Here's the keys. Can't use an unpad. I could probably remap it, but you know, I've no idea what an MSX keyboard looked like. So maybe it had its own dedicated arrow keys. Maybe it looked like a Spectrum. I don't know. It didn't want so far. Gaming expert here. There we go. You have to lead your shots a little bit. Yep, teleport away. Thank you. You have to lead your shots a bit, but the controls are, aren't quite reactive enough. Oh. Oh dear. That was just a missed shot. That's alright. That's cool. Every time we learn. Every time we get closer to me... Trying to find the fast forward button on the emulator so we can go, go past this cutscene a bit quicker. There's always other options. We're on the third floor. We could always go searching other floors. So the fourth floor. Trying to get a bit more. Oh, that's right. Punch the elevator buttons. Get some more supplies. Get some rations. Some rations would definitely make the fight a bit easier. See what happens if we try to go to the fourth floor. Got to try and keep the action happening. MMG. Keep, give the people what they want. And they want tactical espionage action. And this is where we find out that our card works in nowhere. There's a lot of flashing lights here. That's a lot of dudes. And our card doesn't work. A, and in the bottom left there, there's static white dots. Is that a whole bunch of cards? Is that something else? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, okay, we're probably on the top floor. <laughs> I 
I am loving the elevators, to be honest. It's taking me back to the PlayStation 1, the running into elevators, immediately going into first person view. Oop. Where are you going next, mate? Turn around, go back the way you came. Is that what you want to do? I just want some ammo, maybe some rations. Good man. So this is a metal floor, so any step I take would cause noise. And as we found, noise gets lots of attention. But all the guards like to congregate in the middle there. Oop. This is as close as I can get to pressing up against a wall. Let's see if they just walk right past me. Look at that. Come on, wiggle your way out, Snake. Snake, try wiggling. There's nothing in here. I know there's some ammo somewhere around here. I pick some up. And if it's, ah, there's a ration. That's a good start. Do they re spawn? No. Oh, oop. <laughs> oh god. You got no ammo for that rubbish snake. Okay. Oh. Run for it. I'm not going to waste my ration on this. Oh my gosh. They love just appearing at the edge of the screen. Make it when you, just when you think you're safe. Okay, ammo is good. Running away is better. Let's just get off this floor. Tink, 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 tink. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Get away from me. <laughs> oh my gosh. You got the elevator. You broke the rules. <laughs> so for all that, we got some more bullets. That's good. Oh, the alert music was still going. <laughs> Could go back to the second floor. See if that ration respawns. Because at least with one ration, that would give us a better chance against the NASA ninja or whatever he's called. <laughs> Black Cloud? What was he called? I skipped this dialogue. Oh dear. Very unprofessional. Of course, the other question is is the blocked off elevator able to take us to the fliff? The, the fifth, the fifth floor, perhaps. Okay. They're all going to start congregating on the middle, aren't they? I want to get to the top right corner. Yep. Yep, they're doing their thing. Oh, come on. Come on. March into my fists. Come closer. So that I may punch you. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't think I can go up. 
<laughs> Running for the elevators is definitely not a very good strategy, considering they can get on the elevators with you. That's great. This game is hard. It's really hard. But I'm predicting, much like Metal Gear Solid 1 and Company, Let me keep my ration, how, how kind. Um, it'll get easier as you go along and get more equipment and everything. So I'm curious where this will take us, because I think the door was blocked on B1. There you go. That doesn't mean we'll be able to get anywhere from B1, but... Oh god, just crouch. <laughs> I wish there was a dedicated button. Okay. It's not noise floor. There are definitely lots of guards around. Ooh. Prison? Perhaps? I get an immediate vibe of that there will be floor traps. Can't go any further from here either. Okay, so we need to come back here with a higher key card, obviously. There you go. Now we know where that other elevator goes, and we can only get there from the second floor. Write that down in your manual. Yes, we've got a. Nobody ever said the Metal Gear series was not linear. We're going to get past that boss. So the best way... To get around to that ration, I think, is don't get stuck on geometry. Go around here. Watch the dots. There we go. Cool. Let's head for that corner. Two rations should be enough. As long as I don't completely cock up the movement. Just wait a moment for him to start moving. He should, yep, head south. Thank you. I miss the... Uh, trucks and rooms of Metal Gear 1 where you could just simply leave, go back in. Oh shit! <laughs> I did not expect him to come back this way. That's alright, oh, well, let's just shake him a little bit. It's actually really tense. <laughs> holding my breath at times waiting for the, these guys for the alert to calm down okay okay we need the key card to get to the boss but once we get there Rations all the way. And of course, with limited gadgets at our disposal, there's limited tricks we can do. We don't have grenades, we don't have any other weapons. It's shoot him with a pistol or nothing. Can't get close enough to punch him, that's for sure. Okay. Let's see. One ration! Ah, one. Is there a list of people to call? Nope, pressing down just gives me the same thing. I have to remember people's codex. Let's call the colonel, see what he says. Oh. <laughs> if we get the, the number right, of course, that is.
Ask George Kessler, once our military advisor. Well, he's apparently 14093. He knows everything about mercenaries and war machines. You can reach him on 140.93. Over. Not sure what I was asking, but let's see what he says. Black Color, a high tech ninja from NASA. Showed up about two years ago. He favors flying stars and speedy moves. He is not a professional like us. <laughs> okay. That makes things worse. Oh, okay. You can predict the moves of a pro, but not amateurs. I hope you can handle this one, Lone Ranger. Over. That wasn't helpful at all. How was that helpful? Alright, black colour. A completely unpredictable amateur. I still don't understand how he's NASA Special Force. Is he an astronaut? Oh, come on. It's not fair when he does it twice in a row. Oh, I'm... There we go. I'm trying to quickly turn and shoot, but the controls aren't responsive enough. Certainly not that I'm bad at games. Can't be that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Since he walks at the exact same speed, it makes it that little bit trickier. Oh, come on! There we go. He is unpredictable, I'll tell you that. Oh, what? That one just went through. Alright, there's our ration gone. Oh, come on! I would have gotten another couple of hits in by now. Flash and red, that's a good sign. Oh, come on. Being able to shoot diagonally would be real helpful. It is a bit unfair that he can and we can't. Look at that. That was luck. Snake's hitbox is a bit of a mystery to me, to be honest. Turn and shoot and... Oh, that was so close. <laughs> Even the game over music is a bit of a jam. To be honest, the reason I'm not dropping a save state and just trying to go over and over again is I'm waiting to see if there is a you suck here's some free bullets <laughs> here's some free bullets and rations if I continue often enough but I guess maybe leaving and coming back is, might have offset that but also you have to continue from the elevator so you don't necessarily just respawn at the entrance of the room, so... Okay, let's go get some bullets first. Uh, let's think. Doesn't matter if we make 
noise if there's nobody else in the room. So. 60 seems to be our max bullets, so we can't stock up and hoard bullets. That's good to know. But if we avoid... I like it how there's no paths cross, how there's overlapping guard patrols. That, you know, that's a bit smarter. That's a bit more realistic that they would be, you know, guards watching each other's backs, essentially. Okay, let's follow this guy to the ration. I love his little wiggle. Look at him go. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Follow that guard. Where's he off to next? Okay. He's into the middle, so are we. Uh, are we? Run for its sake. I'm punching to save bullets, but also simply to... At no point have any of these bastards dropped any bloody <laughs> useful stuff. Nothing useful at all. It's costing me a ration to get a ration. Every time. So I got bullets. Oh my god. So hang on. So I can't carry more than one ration at a time. Is that what I'm getting? That's what I'm kind of getting from this. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm also getting that I should pay attention to my surroundings. Oh, okay. So that doing that leaves me with no rations. But we've seen that with one ration we can get close. I mean, of course, if I was better at video games, maybe I could beat him without getting hit. Did I get, did I get damage from being that too close to him? Oh my god, he must have snuck a bullet in there somewhere. The elevator could be a lot faster. <laughs> yes, I'm doing this again. This will be the last time. Because I need that. Need that one ration. Go snake, go snake, go snake. Get off the screen, get off the screen, get off the screen. Okay. Where are you going, guard? Please look away. Please look away from the other way. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> I heard somebody press the elevator button. It's alert, alert. Somebody wants to change floors. All guards. Okay. Now, let me... Now I know to how to <laughs> save state quickly. <laughs> let's give it another go. Let's, let's use the magic, the wonders of modern technology. Mm -hmm. 
I don't lose all my health due to gas on the way there. Should be fine. The camera always starts out on the right, so... Oh, the car... Need the car key to get in there. <laughs> oh my god. Heart attack. Okay. That little blurt was you, was me, saving state. Might even save state after his little speech. I think we're all sick of seeing this one. I'm not going to go so cheese as to save state after every hit. But at least this way we can start the fight with the resources we've got. Without having to, you know, march through all that shit again. His ninja stars defy physics. He's facing one way, and they're coming out at a different angle. Oh. <laughs> I used to love pixel graphics, but the pixels, the pixels are against me. Oh. I'm learning that the bullets don't quite make it all the way across the screen. They do have a dead, they do drop out after a while. Unless it's those what they meant to be, those things making a barrier. Maybe the bullets are being stopped on those, but... You can shoot over them in the first instance. Like, you can shoot over the ones that are in front of you, so... It's not necessarily they're blocking you from there. Come on, Snake. Remember what Kessler said. All his useless advice. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not having any. I'm no no shame in the save state now. I'm completely sick of this dude. And I love that Snake has a crawl button. I hate how he doesn't have a run button. Or a dedicated crawl, crawl button, that would be good too. If I mention that every time I think of it, it'll be the biggest thing in the world, word cloud by far. There we go, look at this. Look at me, oh my god! I dared to turn. And that cost me my life. His sewing stars cover the length of the screen, and they fly at different angles, but my bullets, he can just walk away from them. If he walks in the opposite direction, he can outrun my bullets. NASA's really got some stuff going. Nope. I don't know what I press in. Oh my god. Thank God. Snake. Who are you? How do you know my name? Because you're the worst infiltrator ever. It's me, Schneider. Carl Schneider. Remember me? Schneider, resistance member in Outer Heaven. But then, why didn't they kill you? Snake, you are still too immature. It's not them who tried to kill me. It's your country. I don't understand. After you beat Metal Gear, NATO conducted an air raid. Resistance members, women and children in outer heaven, we were all abandoned. Many died in the flames. No, they can't be. Children in outer heaven were formerly war orphans. 
and they didn't like the existence of those children to go public. <laughs> Never. Maybe. Someday they'll forget you too. However, he... He? And this is where he dies. He rescued us. Gave us new land and new families. Who do you mean? Soon you will learn of his greatness. Snake. I owe you and hold no resentment despite trying to kill you for the last five minutes. It's not against his will. I'll tell you where the doctor is. The guard of his cell is a green beret. So B1 probably. Look for him on the first floor. Okay. Tail him and you can reach the cell. Ah. Good. Bye. Snake. Bleh. Oh, she exploded. Oh, new keycard. Please tell ID two take it. Please tell me it replaces ID one. No. <laughs> but more health. And hopefully more ammo. Ooh. We got laser wires here. Look at that. Do these flicker or change? Or is this just impossible to get past? Does it appear to be changing? So we can't get here. But maybe we can open other doors. Okay. Let's save state. There's ID card. Oh, you don't. Can't even. <laughs> Oh my god, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. How is my O2 so low? Did it just not recharge? Oh, now I'm gonna die. Maybe my O2 is low because I smoked those cigarettes. Jesus. Where are you running to? Oh, cool. Turns the lights off. Alright, cool. Let's leave the lights off. Stealth it up in the dark. That's cool. That's super awesome. Okay. Alright. Progress. Still gas. <laughs> Is there a camera on this side? That's the million dollar question. I don't see it. There's a guard in the wall, according to the radar. Come on, snake. Oh. You're shitting me. So ID card 2 open. Hang on. Let me see. Before I die. And before I reload my stage deck. Bet you a million dollars that's an ID card 1 door. Okay, just a moment. I'm really not going to make you go through the saving and reloading and all that stuff. There's just no way to avoid that. You walk into the room and the camera looks at you, so... Now I'm going to turn the lights out. Okay, that's not actually helping me. How they come on, I'm in the dark. Just have to do it the old fashioned way. Right, that's half the guards on this level done. I love that flicker as the lights come back on too. Okay. So, this is a keycard two door. Will it be a keycard one door or the other end? Let's find out. There's nothing else in here. Oh my god. It is not a keycard one door either. 
be able to die again. <laughs> oh, this is great. I had a wonderful time. Okay. We've got... Oop. What did I do? I hit pause. No? Ugh. <laughs> this is professionalism. Okay. Right. Let's ignore everything else. <laughs> we've got... We've got a set of keys. We, we've got a key, and we've got, a, we've got instructions to go back to B1. These lasers are not changing. But... No, okay. <laughs> Worth a try. Gas mask. Well, that's better. It's a funny looking gas mask. Useful in poison gas areas, also valid against CN1 gas. Okay. There are no actual lasers in this room, despite evidence to the contrary. This is only one door. I will never remember which door is which. Almost looks like ABC No written on the radar. So where does this take us? Okay. Ah, oh, see, these ones changed. So of course I go the wrong way. I'm noticing... I don't think the cigarettes are actually taking away any of his life. So you can just be cool snake and smoke all day. Go, 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 snake, go. Look at that. Oh, God. Oh. Feels like those rooms are just... Forget it. Just run. And a mine detector. Love it. Okay. I'm sure it's meant to be bulky armor or something, but these guys, these cards kind of just look a bit chunky. Uh, is anybody going to try and come get me again? No? Okay, stop it. Oh, immediately seen by the camera. What about the dust shoot? Oh, hello. I would survive the fall. <laughs> Look at this. Now what? I hope we're in the right spot. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Please open. Oh, gosh. Why did I wake the first time? We're in the sewers. Since that atmospheric squelching. Okay, those are mines, I'm guessing. So we can't swim. I know a snake can't jump. Who was that little kid? Hey, dude. What are you doing in the sewers? Why did I say sewers so weird? Anyway. B2. Look at that. The plot thickens. I could have gone down from B1. There you go. All the more reason to... Not B1. We want to go up to the level... Oh, we have to go up to the second floor anyway. Let's go up there.
this should take us to B1, and then we can go straight up to B... up to 2. You know what I'm going to do on level 2, don't you? Could follow that dude back to the middle. Oh no. I could do that. That works. <laughs> he auto runs into the middle of the elevator. It's like, that's the worst time. Don't do it. Let's go. Let's go down to the first floor and see what we can see. So we're looking for a green beret. Did I manage to hang the ammo? There we go. Okay. <laughs> He's got a red beret, so you're no good to us. He's got a red beret. Again, no good to us. I didn't really notice a, a different behatted chap last time, but maybe he didn't exist until... Get out of here! Now it's time for someone to appear off the edge of the screen and spot me. All I did was try and turn around. How are they shooting these weirdly diagonal shots? Alright, I'll just kill everybody on this floor. I'll just kill everybody on the floor. Then only the green beret will be left. Surely. Just want to find this green beret, dude. Before I call him not. I can't even see your. I can't even see your head. That's not fair. Green Bray, I'll be very annoyed. No, he's not. <laughs> okay. I will have to quit it soon. My wife is my wife is screaming because one of her, her team members. Her, Oh, the camera, okay. Can't climb stairs while crouched, okay. Good to know. I get a feeling. We go up this way. Oh my Jesus Christ. Still no green brain. <laughs> 
Alright. I'm getting frustrated at my lack of talent. I haven't seen a green bar yet. Unless I can go through one of those other doors I couldn't get through before. Right now with the level 2 card, our green beret friend is on the other side of one of those. walk here and not be seen so that's good but yes we've got a couple of guards here okay hey there's our green bray Now, how clever is set the following, I suppose. Where'd he go? He disappeared. Okay. We're in the jungle. We're out, of, we're out of building one already. Good thing this guy never looks behind him. Oop. <laughs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> as soon as I said that. Check your corners, mate. I love that noise. I wish I made that noise when I pivoted. <laughs> oh, we didn't do it that time. We'll do it this time. Oh, I thought I was in big trouble there. get over how good the music is. Oh. Is he going to walk all the way around the screen? He certainly is. Betting. Oh, okay. No, no radar. I was going to say maybe there's mines on that lower path and maybe there is. But without a radar, can't tell for sure. But <laughs> Don't lose him. <laughs> the only thing that would make this better with the tech of the time is if you had just little speech bubbles every few minutes like I swear I heard something or who's that We're considering black color what no way oh is that is that it oh no Oh no. Oh 
my god. I... He broke the rules. Alright. We've defeated Black Color. We've been going for almost an hour. Maybe we can ta tail our Green Beret friend another time. Maybe next week. First. He's about to spot us anyway. And open the door. Perfect spot. Perfect spot. Let's save here. Call the knife. This is Mystical Machine Gun, signing off.